channel and uh, today we shall be looking at this um, technical coding question running some of 1d array so we want to do it in, in within the 15 minutes so given an array nouns we define a running sum of an array as a running sum i equals to the sum num zero up to i return the running sum of nouns so let's see an example nums is one two three four so the running sum it's uh, obtained as follows so the first one it's the same in our output so the second will be the second value plus this the third will be all the previous values the fourth will be uh, the previous values just like a dynamic programming thing so here one will be the first so the second will be the addition so this will be addition or whatever value is here to the previous so so we are building on it so this is three so whatever we get here four we add it to two six so six we add it to ten sixteen sixteen we add it to one seventeen and the lengths of our array is maximum of one thousand minimum of one and the values could be negative or well, up to times plus six uh, that makes some sense so let's see what we can do with that using some dynamic programming approach okay uh, so given an array we define the running sum of the array so we're given nouns and uh, we are returning the result the output so array and returning the sum of running return the running sum of nums so the result will be running sum so and that's going to be a list and uh, what we're going to do now it's we iterate through the values in our nums so we are to the values from the second value. So we can say for i in range, we'll be starting from the second value because we know that the first value is always the same. Length of nums. So is it possible for us to do it in place without defining this? I think it's possible for us to do it in place. So we just say this becomes one plus two. This becomes three plus whatever is there, six. And this becomes four plus whatever is there. I think we can do it in place instead of creating an extra array. Let's try that, that makes it more interesting. And the the space complexity will be big O one and the time complexity will be uh so the time complexity will be big O of N. So should be able to do that. So we want to do it in a space constant space, big O of one constant. Mm. What we do is we start from one, so we are not altering that. So our i is starting from the second element, and what we do, we have to replace that element with a new value. So what we do is that we say the nums of the current element we be replaced by the nums of the previous element plus the nums of the current element so by that we don't need the extra space 
and at the end we just return back the nouns in place so let's see whether our approach makes some sense by doing some dry run of our code and this is what is very important in coding interview you want to be able to dry run your code without using any compiler that's very critical so our high is starting from a zero so our i equals to zero then here we are saying nums of zero uh, oh sorry our high is starting from one because we say it's one so we'll say nums of one which is this okay we are now replacing it with nums of high minus one which is nums one minus one zero plus nums one so this is going to give us num zero is one and nums one is two and that is going to give us three so we're starting the three into nums one so we're replacing this with three so this is our new uh, nums now okay then our high becomes two so this become nums of one that's two minus one and nums of two so what's our nums of one so these are nums of one is three and our nums of two this is zero one two which is three so three plus three becomes six okay so our nums of two which is the current i which is this is replaced with six and you can see it's agreeing so far with what we have here in the given example so our high gets to three and this becomes as you expect nums of two nums of three and nums of two is zero one two that is six and nums of three zero one two three is four so this gives us ten and so our nums of current high which is this becomes ten well that makes sense okay we see how sometimes seven more minutes let's see if we can this is okay with what we're given let's see if we can do like this one as well and do some dry run of this okay this is what i expect that we practice with when preparing for a technical coding interview so our i is starting from one as usual so this is nums of zero and this becomes nums of one so this is nums of zero and nums of one excuse me and this is one plus one and this gives us two so our nums of high which is one the current index is one becomes two and as you can guess our high becomes two so this becomes nums of one and nums of two and this becomes what is nums of one which is two and nums of two zero one two which is one so this becomes three uh nums of high zero one two becomes three so this becomes three and this is our green so far so we can see that it does make sense okay so i think that's all so we can now run it now and see what we have good so more test cases and this other test case so let's run our pen so let's submit yeah good all right thank you and see you in the next one